Oh my god, I don't understand. Coffee stained sock. Icing on top of the cake. Surely nothing else can go wrong. Our car isn't starting. Happy 25 to me. Hands down the worst thing I've ever tasted. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm just gonna cut straight to an experience. I straight. I am just gonna cut straight to an experience I just had. Ugh. So Rowan and I just tried a martini for the first time. Hands down, the worst thing I've ever tasted. Why is it a popular drink? Did we just? Did we try it with the wrong stuff? Like I, I can't fathom how anybody, how anybody likes a martini. The gin. The vermouth, the olives. Nah, not for me, not for me. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Good morning, it's currently Monday. I think this week is gonna be pretty hectic because this is the only day I have off before like three days of work and then our friends are coming over. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna get to vlog this week but I'll try and bring you along for as much as I can. Cheers. I'm just having one of those moments where it's just like I am so grateful for all of the choices I've made in my life to get me to this point like I'm spending a Monday morning relaxing on the beach isn't that just so crazy I am really really happy this morning has honestly just been so much fun I'm about to go home and just do a whole bunch of editing and computer stuff but to spend the morning at the beach I don't do this enough I feel like I feel so guilty coming to the beach without Cosmo but because I, I know he loves the beach he absolutely loves it it's his favorite time ever but like I can't really I feel like I can't relax when he's around because I'm always worried that it's gonna go like running up to other dogs and then what if they don't like each other and then I'm responsible for like pulling him like apart from the other dog you know like I feel so guilty going without him but oh it was just so relaxing and fun and I feel like I faced a little fear of mine today of like going in the ocean I know it sounds so silly but like I went further in than my knees and I feel like that's just such an accomplishment so I'm proud of myself Yes, good boy, that's yours. I think paw is my favorite trick that we've taught Cosmo. He just gives you a little fist bump, a little high five, which is really fun. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. So a little while ago, an old friend um, gave me one of his microphones because he knew I was vlogging and like a lot of my videos have like pretty terrible audio <laughs> I bought this thing off Amazon to like go with the microphone and it's just been sitting on my shelf for too long so I thought today would be the day that I can try it out I initially got this for my design business like my stickers and stuff my stationery shop I think I'm just gonna try it out now and then maybe I'll film some content for that yeah I'm kind of excited I don't really know much about the audio world and this looks very scary to me oh my camera's about to die okay i've just swapped cameras so hopefully nothing has changed dramatically I thought i would give this a go so it's got this tiny little microphone that you can like clip on and the audio is good i don't know <laughs> i don't know we'll have to we'll have to work it out together I think it's meant to be a lot clearer so like if you're further away from the camera it doesn't affect the audio quality this reminds me of the days where you had to like untangle your headphones every single time you wanted to use them i feel so old so he said in order for like this thing to work 
I needed this. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like it somehow needs to attach to the camera. Let me have a look. Okay, so I just played back that clip and I couldn't hear anything. I'm confused, but I'm really excited to get this working because a tiny cute little microphone is going to be so much fun for the stuff I have planned. Cosmo is crying like crazy because he reckons there's either a lizard or a snake or something in here. We know something has been in here because we found some skin that it had shedded, but we're not sure what it is. Surely that's not what he's growling at. Are you the boy that cried wolf? Is there anything in there, bud? Oh, cockroach. Oh, yuck. You know when you have one of those days where it just doesn't go right? Like nothing? went right for me today and I'm exhausted. I am so incredibly just ready to be done with the day. Today has been a day. Nothing has gone right. Within the first two hours of me working, I spilled an entire coffee over me, the girl next to me and all over the floor. And it got like all over my shoes, all in my socks. So I've literally got, I've literally got a coffee stained sock. I was spilling milk bottles. I spilled a decaf shot all over the workbench and it was just, it was just a day. And I've come home from work and then I see a note on my windscreen saying like, hey, um, just so you know, like, sorry, the wind was really strong today and it took my car door and it slammed into your um, passenger side mirror and there's a crack in it. So like, I'm so sorry, here's my number, like, please get in touch if you want. And so I'm like, oh, okay, icing on top of the cake, surely nothing else can go wrong. I pulled up to the house, there was a little slip saying like you've missed a delivery please come to the post office and i'm like okay i've missed a delivery noted for tomorrow go to the post office surely nothing else like smooth sailing from here i get in i get inside i see cosmo he's jumping up at me he's really happy like doing his little greeting that he does and i realize he has some poo on his bum and so i'm like okay i need to clean up this poo so i had my gloves on i had the wet wipes i was yeah. And yeah, I've just, I've had a day and I'm scared to go and do anything else because I don't want anything else bad to happen or like anything inconvenient. And I messaged Rowan in the middle of the day after all of the coffee things had gone wrong. I'm like, oh my God, like this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. Like I'm not having a good day <laughs> and just like venting to him a little bit. And he's like, oh, have you taken your magic mind? Like, did you forget this morning? And I was thinking back and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't take it. And so my, literally my entire day got ruined because I didn't take Magic Mind. Like that's, that's how much it has like affected my thinking and like my clarity and just, I don't know, I'm just like less clumsy, like I'm more focused, like I can, I actually do things properly. But now that I've been taking Magic Mind for so long, I don't take it for one day and it's, my day is just gone to shambles. I thought I would just come on here and rant a little bit. Also, I don't think I've filmed anything this week for the weekly vlog because all I've been doing is working. Anyway, happy Wednesday. <laughs> I hope your day was better than mine. I really, I'm really scared to go out and do anything else. I need to do a whole bunch of cleaning around the house because we have some friends coming over in a couple of days. The house just feels a little bit not as clean as I'd like it. But I'm scared that if I start cleaning, then something's going to go terribly wrong and it's going to be more work. Oh, hi. Oh, thank you. Do I taste like coffee? I spilled it everywhere. But yeah, if I haven't convinced you on Magic Mind already, I think that story just explains how much it has 
really just like helped me think clearer. Yeah, I absolutely highly recommend Magic Mind. Like you've seen how much I've just struggled today after one day of not taking it when I've been taking it for maybe like a month now, like three weeks. I didn't realize it was like, like I knew it was working, but I didn't realize it was working that well. <laughs> and just to know that my entire day has just been absolutely awful because I forgot to take Magic Mind this morning. They have a money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, like you get a 100% refund, like no questions asked, like it's literally the best deal. I would absolutely recommend them. And I'm really mad at myself for not taking it this morning. <laughs> You're lucky I just cleaned your butt. Otherwise you wouldn't be sitting on me right now. Oh, you're crazy. Do you like it when I taste like coffee? <laughs> Definitely not forgetting this this morning after what happened yesterday. I'm getting my magic mind. <laughs> Cheers. Yum. So you know how I basically just had the day from hell yesterday and nothing was going right and I had a package, like a little postal post slip thing to pick up from the post office and it's my magic mind. I'm so, so excited. I think the last clip I filmed this morning was me saying like, okay, so I can't forget my magic mind and taking it. And now I just got another box. I'm so excited. So I've still got a few Magic Mind bottles to go in my current box, but I think we need to open this one right now. I'm so excited. They package it so well. Da, 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 da. Now I will be so stocked. I'm not sure exactly how much I told you about this yesterday. If you've seen my last video, you'd know all the ins and outs of it. But basically this is just like a little productivity shot that it kind of just... Well, for me personally, it kind of just like clears my head a little bit. Like there's there's always a lot going on up in this noggin and it's kind of, it's really refreshing to have not so much going on. It's not even bad things or whatever. It's just like constant thoughts. Like, I don't know, I don't know what the average person experiences because I've only ever experienced what I experience. I sound like <laughs> Basically, let me just show you this little thing that comes with it. It's got a whole bunch of ingredients such as like L-theanine, Bacopa monieri. I actually, I don't know how to pronounce any of these things, but it has like what it does after each one. Actually, instead of me just reading it out, you can read it for yourself. Like they're all the really great things that's in this product. Ooh, this is so fun. So they've got a little directions bit and it says, you know, best enjoyed chilled, but refrigeration isn't necessary. I've got mine in the fridge now. The first couple of times I had it out of the fridge, but I think I definitely prefer it chilled. But it says, want to mix things up, try these delicious recipes. And if you've been following me for a while, I love making like new drinks, recipes with new different things. And it says you can make a magic latte. So you can add one shot of Magic Mind to steamed or iced milk, or you can do a magic sparkling. So you can add Magic Mind to sparkling water. How good's that? I actually might have to try that. That's made me so excited. Doesn't that drink just look so good? Okay, anyway, that's enough about me. I'm just so excited that I got this package comes in like a cute little box. Actually, I don't think I've shown you how it's packaged. So basically I'm a sucker for packaging and this is excellent. You basically just get 15 little bottles in this really cute thing. Actually, let me show you. I've got mine in the fridge. So this is where I've got mine. It kind of looks like a little, you know when they're in the store and they like pop these little things up. So that's how I've got mine displayed in the fridge. You can see like all my empty ones at the back. I've also got one with a little plant over here, but Basically, this is how I store it, just next to all of my drinks up here on the top shelf. Also, we have way too many eggs. Not the point. Yeah, I just think they look so cute and it brings like some color to your fridge. I don't know. I just love that little section of my fridge. But yeah, basically, I'm a little bit sad that I can't do another shot right now because it's kind of like one per day in the morning. Well, that's how I like to do it anyway. But yeah, that's my fun little package. I also got a birthday card. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about my birthday this year. I don't know, I'm not as thrilled and excited for birthdays anymore. And I think that's just a part of getting older, but yeah, I don't know, like I love, I love all the love I receive. It's not like I receive any less love. Anyway, yeah, I'm just not as excited for them. I'm gonna go. got some friends up from Perth and we're just exploring the foreshore a little bit and yeah they've just gone into a cafe to get some coffees. Cosmo and I are just hanging out under some trees. It's a good day. I'm glad I'm forgetting how to shop. No that's cute. 
Back to Diamond, so the last <laughs> round. Well, I'm not gonna fight clubs. I'll play that one. currently Saturday so if you can hear the machine in the background it's nearly done we just had the absolute best day yesterday there was this one game that I want to talk about though it was a card game and I don't know what it was but there were there were so many different rules every single time you started a game and I just could not wrap my head around it for the life of me like it's like we were playing for like I don't know maybe 30, 40 minutes and every single time someone tried to explain the rules to me I'm like my my brain just isn't getting it like this game it doesn't make sense it doesn't I don't understand why the card always changes like every round like I don't I really I had no idea how to play this game I don't know one time I like didn't put the right card down and after like 40 minutes of not understanding it I just like I just broke down in tears I'm like oh my god i don't understand this game like can we just stop like it was just it was just so not enjoyable and i don't know what it was like i'm never like that with card games and yeah i just thought that was a really funny thing to share but if i if i if i learn the name of the game i'll put it here but it just seemed like the most pointless game i don't know i don't know <laughs> Um, but yeah, today we're about to go out to a really nice breakfast. Our friends have just gone for a little walk by themselves. I don't know how much of today I'll show you, but I think today is going to be a really good day. It's not going to be as hot as yesterday. Yesterday was stinking hot. But anyway, I'm not going to talk about the weather. But it's, it's not a good song. It's great, very good. Oh. At least it's not Houdini. At least it's not Houdini, that's right. So we've just hopped back in the car from the beach and our car isn't starting. So that's fun. So we have called up a taxi. If anyone wants to say hi, feel free. <laughs> um, we've just called up a taxi and they took like 15, 20 minutes and they're still not here. So we've recalled them back. They're sending out another one but this lovely guy in the car park that's seen us like you know lift the bonnet and you know try the key a thousand times and yeah he just came and gave us two vodkas and two beers so yeah happy australia day <laughs> <laughs> the taxi is here i'm just carrying all our bags and he's gonna take us home <sighs> what a day what a day to end off being 24. so i've got some good news rowan just went on his motorbike to go and see if my car would start and it did but this is the first time we've turned it off we've brought it home we've turned it off you know on and off a few times and the key just keeps it keeps getting a little bit stuck but it seems like it's loosening up a little bit so i don't know what happened there but we think the car is working um, i have a big trip coming up to perth soon so i just oh, i don't know i just i hope i hope it stays good but yeah it's also my birthday today happy 25 to me feeling old I guess a little birthday present from the universe was that my car started again. I guess I'll take that as a win.
of a day. It is 45 degrees outside. And in my work, it was, oh, it was over 50 degrees, I swear. It, it is, no, I feel like I'm going to vomit. I feel like I'm going to be sick. I've just been sitting in my car for 10, 20 minutes, just like, with the air con blasting, just to try and cool myself down. <sighs> yeah, today's been a day. <laughs>